All right. We are going to do another form of political compass, compass test, just because it was mentioned earlier. And that was a lot of fun and it can spark interesting discussions. I want to do this one. I think it's the one that, that was mentioned earlier. I'm going to put chat. I'm going to put chat, 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 chat. You're going all the way here. Why are there so many fucking ads? All right. 72 questions. Let's go. Let's go fast. Let's do let's do a speed run. Trade unions and workers councils should form a basis, the basis of a socialist society. Um yeah, some would agree. Not like they can, but I don't know if they should, right? I think it's one form to base the socialist society, but it's not the the ultimate one. Workers councils and trade unions. You can also have, you know, uh municipalities and things like that leftist advertisements i'm not sure <laughs> workplace democracy within capitalism is an acceptable alternative to a complete socialization of the economy i disagree i think it's a good place to start uh but i still think workplace democracy would uh acceptable what's acceptable i'll i'll go with somewhat disagree acceptable in the sense that yeah i would i would prefer it like I could be somewhat satisfied, but it's not better. It's not a better alternative to a complete socialization of the economy. It might be one step towards it, I guess. It means the production, such as factories and farm, must be publicly owned. Yeah, of course. Abortion is an, uh, is an immoral act that should be banned. Significant no. It is acceptable for humanity to suffer uh, to some notable extent in order to preserve the natural econo uh, ecosystem. Natural ecosystem. Strongly agree. Suffer to some notable extent. What do you mean suffered from some notable extent? Does. Hmm. Like not having cars. To, to, to all the Americans in chat, not having a car is going to be like suffering to a notable extent. Cars as, you know, as an exchange for public transport. What about, um, what about not like saying no to plane, right? Now, now we don't have any planes because like they're really, they're, they're, they're too bad for the ecosystem. Is that suffering? Yeah, car ad right now. Affronter les sentiers. It's in French. You lucky, you lucky, uh, lucky bunch of chatters. You get to see French. Um, yeah, I agree. I don't think people should starve for, for to preserve natural ecosystems. But I don't think that's the case. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think not having a car, not being able to, you know, to take flights. I even think that not eating uh, food that, you know, that come from very, very different um, parts of the world. Like, for example, if you live in Canada and, you know, bananas are, are greatly restricted, I think that's fine as well. I guess that's that's suffering. Trade unionism has been largely corrupted by uh, the ruling class and is no longer a viable structure for socialist organization. I somewhat agree. Um, maybe it, it could be it could be changed, but uh, right now, trade unionism is not anti-capitalist. I guess it depends where you're from. But where I am, maybe it could be radicalized, but so far, the way it's been going... It's it's been it's been swallowed by um, by uh, uh, capitalism. So I'm not sure I want to uh, to accept uh, like I, I want to say it's a viable structure. It could be, um, but as, like so far, I don't know if I put a lot of my a lot of my. Um, I think trade unionism has has um, has a lot of benefits. In terms of, I've talked about how I unionized my workplace and it actually made a lot of people I unionized with, it, it radicalized them uh, into seeing that their own interest is completely opposite to the interest of uh, of the uh, of their boss, which was good. However, uh, the, this, the, the, the organization itself, I'm not sure uh, if it's as as viable as it was, let's say, in the 19th century. A centrally planned economy based around computers is a concept worth investigating. Uh, sure. 
investigate it. I don't give a fuck. I don't mind. I don't have like strong opinions about it or not. If you want to see if it's going to work, you can with AI and stuff like that. I don't give a fuck. Socialist political parties should participate in liberal democratic elections. Uh, sure, if you have a political party and you want to use the liberal democratic elections as a platform to talk about socialist policies, go ahead. Hopefully that, that works. I don't think it's I'm against political parties in general, even socialist political parties. Um, I think they should participate in liberal democratic elections because at least it, it, it might infuse class consciousness in the electorate, but I don't think in themselves, socialist political parties are, are, um, are the way to go. But I do think they should participate in liberal democratic elections, at least for the platform, not because they'll do anything there, but they just might con uh, convince some people. The oppression of LGBTQ plus people is a major issue that needs to be seriously addressed. Yes. Reforming capitalist society to achieve better rights for workers is desirable. Yes. The negative consequences of revolution generally outweigh the advantages. Uh, generally, I don't know. It depends from revolution to revolution. Blindly believing that a revolution is good because the revolution is is pretty bad i believe you shouldn't believe that oh because it's a revolution then it's 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 necessarily good i'll leave that uh, in the middle a socialist government has no right to disrupt religious or cultural traditions in any situation i agree it was spoken about in a discord server i was in and someone was saying we need to ban like religious or religion or whatever and i'm against religion obviously but banning it just seems like a like a a waste of time and just a way to to make enemies and uh like people again don't choose to believe in what they believe in redistribute re redistributing wealth away from the wealthy uh through taxes is a viable way of defeating inequality uh no inequality is not just uh, about money industrialized farming practices must be abolished even if it leads to lower outputs strongly disagree industrialized farming practices can be really 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 good uh factory like factory farming for like like animals for example fuck animals kill them all i don't care i don't want them i don't want them to to pollute my my environment but yeah i do want industrialized uh farming practices i want to make it as efficient as possible of course Democratic centralism is an authoritarian organizational structure that disregards the masses. Sounds like an oxymoron. Prisons are oppressive and antiquated institutions that need to be abolished. Uh, agree. Mass foreign immigration policies are naive and should not be implemented. Mass foreign immigration policies are naive. No, disagree. Nationalism and patriotism are impulses that are unacceptable in a socialist society. Uh, good, good question. I'll agree somewhat because I've talked about that. I've talked about it. Modern social, social democracy is a betrayal of left wing values. Betrayal is a very loaded term here. I don't think so. It just. Like, I'll somewhat agree. It just takes some elements of left-wing values and applies it to, to capitalism. I don't think it, it's it's betraying them. I just think it's incomplete. You cannot achieve a socialist society without also making significant social progress. I strongly agree with that. You cannot achieve a socialist society without also making significant... So a socialist society comes with social progress. I agree with that. Or you need to make significant social progress to achieve... So, uh, socialist society, which I also agree with anyway. So I agree with both. The principles of workplace democracy and self-management are desirable. Yes, yes, they are. Any socialist country should be dedicated to exploring their ideology abroad, to exporting their ideology abroad. Uh, depends how you do it. What does exporting ideology abroad mean? Does that mean colonialism or imperialism? Is that what it usually means, chat? When they say exporting ideology abroad. 
is that using force to i don't know yeah exactly military means or political means or like i think yeah you should you should try to export your ideology abroad but yeah i don't want it to be imperialism like i don't want it to be like a like military kind of shit i'll say somewhat agree because exporting ideology is you know what if you like create uh like very cool like you make movies you make cultural products to export your ideology abroad i think that i think that can be really cool but i don't want it to be imperialism or colonialism the international proletariat belongs to no country i like that ideal Revolutionary violence is acceptable as long as the final outcome is positive. Yeah. Yeah. If by revolutionary d violence means self-defense against uh, capitalist monopoly of the means of production, then yeah, of course, we call it self-defense, right? We had that discussion before. <laughs> Humanity must return to the primitive ways of the past to overcome no long-term cl climate issues. No. We don't have to do that. We love the unity of means and ends. And Prim, I know. Local planners rather than national planners are more efficient at running a planned economy. Honestly, I'm not that planned. I'm not that planned. I'm not that versed in planned economies. It's never something that really, really, um, that really uh, interested me. Mostly because I believe we live in abundance. And I believe we can continue to live in abundance. I'll say somewhat agree. I prefer local than national. Uh, I don't fucking know. A socialist revolution is made inevitable by the conditions of capitalism. I strongly disagree on that. It's not inevitable at all. In underdeveloped societies, a centrally planned economy is the best way to make rapid progress. I don't... I don't fucking know. Capitalism will induce its own demise through contradictions that results in crisis. In crisis, I mean, it will uh, induce its own demise with crises. What demise is that? It's not like it's its own end, right? Demise just means. No, it does mean its end. No, I don't think it it will kill itself. I don't think so. Is that? It's kind of, it's it's very similar to the, uh, how it's inevitably going to end, but I don't think it, it will. From each according to his ability to each according to his needs is a good principle. Yeah, that's from the political compass. Marriage is a patriarchal social construct that should be phased out. Um, what do they mean by phased out? What does phased out mean? To stop it. I'll say somewhat agree. I do think it like it would be better if if it if it stopped as a culture, but I don't think it should be um, forced to be stopped, like made illegal in a way. The leadership of uh, political parties in the progression towards socialism will always lead to authoritarianism. I don't want to say always, but. Um, the risks are so high that we might as well say always. Ends means unity and things like that. Total economic and social equality is realistically possible uh, possible to achieve. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The establishment of socialism is a gradual process rather than an instant and rapid one. Yes. Strongly agree. I strongly agree in the sense that like you need to, to, to build um, counter power. You know, the whole build the, uh, the world of like the new world in the shell of the old. I think this is it. It's a gradual process. I know this is probably uh, re um, revolution versus, uh, versus uh, reform versus revolution. But it's a gradual process in the sense, I believe, building the, old, the new world in the shell of the old. Material conditions and needs uh, are the dominant drive behind uh, soci socioeconomic change. Uh, yeah, I do think so. The government should be capable of assigning individuals to workplaces. Strongly disagree. The state can be best defined as a monopoly of un un violence and oppression. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best definition. 
I mean, Monopoly on Violence is kind, kind of... No, not necessarily. Monopoly on a violence and oppression doesn't necessarily mean or imply um, hierarchy and power imbalances. Right? Because you can still have a monopoly on violence and a monopoly on oppression, but still not use these unjustly. It is possible to piece... Uh, so I, that's why I think this is maybe not the best definition of it. But it's still, it's not a bad one. It is possible to peacefully convince the ruling class to conform to a socialist society. Uh, not the ruling class as a whole. I do think you can convince uh, a lot of... Uh, I do think so, theoretically. I do, I, Though I do think a lot of people will... So it's not the whole ruling class, but I do think parts of the ruling class can be... We've talked about this. It's like the same thing that patriarchy does benefit men, but also um, makes or also brings some disadvantages to men. I do think that uh, capitalism brings mostly advantages to the ruling class, but also some disadvantages to the ruling class. And I think if there's a broader movement with clearly defined ideas, I don't know. I'll say somewhat agree. Just out of optimism. <laughs> a minority population should receive special legal protections. Uh, I'll say somewhat agree. I, I don't know how much legal protections help, right? Not that much into law. I think uh, protections... But... <laughs> Like, I get the, the gist of it. I don't know how much laws are, are, are what's going to protect them. So I'll say some would agree. Foreign officials have no right to dictate policy in another country. Of course. It will be important to implement extensive environmental pro protections as part of achieving socialism. And somewhat? Yeah, I guess. I mean, we need to implement extensive environmental protections with, through the state because um, without them, we won't have enough time to achieve socialism. At, at least that's my that's my thinking right now. My, what I'm thinking. We must radically uh, alter our food consumption in order to limit uh, the exploitation of nature. Very much agree. So when it's, especially when it comes to um, animal product consumption, if that's what they mean by alter. People of similar cultures should unite in federations or confederations. Of similar cultures. People of similar cultures. Do you mean like people like in a, in a, like the same like kind of community should unite in federations? I think everyone should, but uh, yeah, people of similar cultures should as well. But everyone should, I don't know. Does that mean people of different cultures shouldn't unite in different in federations of? I'm not sure. I think everyone should. We'll just go with that one. Uh, I would be willing to sacrifice economic resources in my home country in order to help other countries. Yes. Yes. If, if like especially yeah, that is a weird question, uh, Galgamus. I agree. It's like, yeah. I I'll, I'll just say somewhat agree. I guess to it, but uh, to uh, to this one, to uh, sacrificing economic resources, yes. Uh, if we live in abundance, I'm sure, yes. Revolution is the best way of achieving a socialist society. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think a revolution will be kind of necessary, but not right now. But once the uh, material conditions are 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 there, and to make a revolution favorable. Yeah, I think it might be a best way. Yeah. A world socialist republic is a realistic and desirable goal. No. No, that sounds that sounds scary. At least to me. An economic uh an economy is generally designed better when it's organized bottom up rather than bottom down. I agree. We must accept that the socialist statues uh, states of the twentieth century failed to seriously address environmental issues. Uh did they care? Did they know about it? I don't... 
I imagine they they were still abiding by market pressures. I don't I don't fucking know. Did they seriously address environmental issues? Did they? Chat? It wasn't a priority. Somewhat agree. I mean, what if they seriously addressed environmental issues at the expense of, you know, lesser economic growth? Because other motherfuckers out there were able to do infinite growth through destroying the planet. Highly centralized planned economy is not socialism, but rather state capitalism. Strongly agree. Oppressed peoples have the right to engage in a violent uprising when all other options have been exhausted. Yes. Class conflict is a force that has influenced much of human... Yes. It is foolish to expect renewable energies to be able to replace fossil fuels. Uh, I'll strongly disagree with a caveat. I think uh, renewable energy sources might not be... Uh, might not be able to replace fossil fuels in the way we use fossil fuels right now. As we've said, planes right uh cars the independent uh even electric car is still not the best way to go about and to go around and plus if every car is electric a lot of places in the world produce electricity through fossil fuels anyway so you're still not replacing fossil fuels you're just adding a a um, a middleman however uh, public transport can make renewable energy source sources replace fossil fuels, but it's not just the energy sources that that are that are going to replace fossil fuels. It's also um, the efficiency at which we replace whatever uses fossil fuels the most. For example, um, cars and public transport. Public transport is going to do more to replace fossil fuels than I believe individual cars or individual electric cars but I don't think it's foolish Canada Day special look at that Canada Day special everyone it's Canada Day special <laughs> yeah if, uh, efficiency is important too yeah for sure I do th I do I, I really believe that you know just changing everything to electric is not necessarily the best way to go about it you need to replace other infrastructure. Anyway. Some small scale destruction of nature is acceptable if it uh, if it notably benefits humanity. I don't know what you mean by small scale destruction of nature. I'll say somewhat agree. Like for example, a mine. A mine destroys nature for sure. But is this is that what they mean by small scale destruction of nature? There's like taking resources out of, out of the earth's, like you look at a, a mine, what's a, what's a good, gold is not the best. Yeah. What do they mean by small scale? Says graffiti 299. Yeah. Like a road. Yeah. Is a road small scale destruction of nature? I'm not against building ro roads. Is this? I'll say strongly agree because this is probably some and prim shit. Anarcho primitivism. Some small scale destruction of nature is acceptable acceptable if it notably benefits humanity. Like a road, yeah. Mining can be good. Uh a um a dam. Right? We want dams. We want there's like also artificial water reserves. Aren't these good? I imagine they are. Anyway. Bureaucracy and inefficiency are always in, uh, inherent in centrally planned economies. Again, I don't know enough about centrally planned economies, the uh, the for or against them. Societies chiefly driven by individuals and ideas. Uh, no. No. We're not. This is that's idealism. Personal motor vehicles, such as cars, should be replaced with free f public transport. Yes, we were talking about that. Absolutely. 
It is necessary to establish a dictatorship of the proletariat as a transitionary stage between capitalism and socialism? No. Climate change is a major global threat that also socialists must fiercely combat. Of course. Traditional gender roles, such as women and uh, uh, such as women being homemakers, need to be overcome. Yes. Religions overall have a, again, not through law or through uh, force, but through a, a change in culture. That's also a thing. Oh, go eat, uh, sneaky revenant. Have a have a nice lunch. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you've you've been having fun. Eat well. Yeah, absolutely. Eat well. Religions overall have a mostly positive effect and should remain influential in society. Hell no. Nah. It's dinner. Oh yeah. You're in Switzerland. You're in Europe. You poor soul. Open borders uh, between like-minded socialist countries is desirable. Yes. The fact that so many workers vote for bourgeois parties over socialist parties is proof that party politics are is are, are no longer relevant. Yes. Mass spontaneous actions are more effective than carefully planned actions. Mm, I guess it depends. What does chat think about that? It depends on the action for sure. Generally, I feel like... Oh, you don't understand uh, 62? Workers vote for, for bourgeois parties over socialist parties is proof that party politics are no longer relevant. Uh, I think I think the idea that people vote against their interest through parties makes it so that it's kind of irrelevant. That's how I see it. I think mass spontaneous actions are more effective than carefully planned actions. It's not because mass spontaneous actions are necessarily better in themselves. It's the context in which mass spontaneous actions may arise and in, in, in the context in which carefully planned actions may arise. Like mass spontaneous actions arise when like there's there's the material conditions that force people to like, you know, to in mass spontaneously do actions. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like uh, BLM was spontaneous. It just, you know, it just exploded. But that's because of the, the, the conditions that brought about BLM. Or occupy. Carefully planned actions usually don't come from uh, the same kind of uh, feeling of necessity that mass spontaneous actions come from. It's not that it's it they're 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 worse. It's just that the conditions in which they they they, they get sparked is very different. When something happens and you have a mass spontaneous action in response to it. Of course, this is going to be more effective. Carefully planned actions are usually come as a response to maybe an event, but it won't mobilize people enough to like, you know, spontaneously all get together. So it's usually events that are less, um, less influential, we'll say. Carefully planned actions are good, but just because they are, can, they can easily be co-opted. Also, spontaneous actions means to me that the people have an understanding of what's going on, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit more clear. Carefully planned actions, I'm not sure. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep saying, I'll, I'll say agree. Human population growth uh, must be curbed to prevent an ecological disaster. Fuck no. The global socialist movement should be led by a single party. No. Socialism can only be fully, truly achieved in developed industrialized society. Uh, somewhat agree. Somewhat agree on that. I do think that uh, industrialized societies do have the resources to be able to to have abundance enable, uh, which enables putting in common all the, the the fruits of you know of this industrialized society. Um. If it's not, if your society is not industrialized, it does add barriers to become socialism. Um, industrialization makes it so that you can you can free yourself from labor, which is what socialism is uh, at its at its uh, basis about. At least that's how I see it. It's about freedom from from having to to do uh, labor to survive. And. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm not putting fully agree and just somewhat agree is because I do believe that once 
if like I'm saying once, but if the world becomes socialist, then a div, uh, societies that aren't uh, industrialized may still become socialist and industrialized in the process of being like while being socialist. But that's if uh, you know there aren't um, they aren't kept down by by capitalist societies that benefit from them being down. Thank you, Liminal. Hey, that sounds like Germinal. Thank you, Liminal, for, for following. Everybody say thank you. Everybody say no, not thank you. Say hello to Liminal. Welcome them in our in our community. Liminal. L-I-M-I-N-A-L-L. -L. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. I meant to say uh, to say carefully planned actions are good, be but because they can easily be co-opted, is, it is, uh, is a neg big negative. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought, but I, I wasn't sure. But yeah, diversity of tactics and all that. Power Anarchist. I said not thank you. I said hello. You have to say hello. Oh, hey, I've seen some of your vids on YouTube and love them. Oh, thank you, Liminal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very, very appreciated. Which ones? On the canvas or on Germinal? Anyway, let's continue. Liberal democracy is a viable way of achieving a socialist society. Uh, no. No, it's not. Oh, Canvas. On the main channel. All right, well, welcome. You'll see it's a bit different from the main channel here. <laughs> socialist organizations are generally better off when organized loosely and decentrally. I do believe so. Nation, National liberation or self-determination for all people is a good concept. Of course, experimental, environmental friendly food sources like cultured meat and are uh, worth investing. Sure, I think everything's worth investing. Measures to address environmental issues are unacceptable if they result in the significant decrease in production and quality of life. Um, again, significant decreases is very, it's very, uh, how do you say it? Subjective. I'm fine with, um, I think it's acceptable if you're not allowed to fly anymore for leisure. I'm, I think it's acceptable if you can't eat avocados or bananas uh, for environmental issues. I think it's acceptable if you can't have your own personal car. So I, I, I guess significant, de significant decreases is going to be, is going to depend on, on your population, right? Sean, capitalist, that invests in everything, including stocks. What? What about capitalists that invest in everything? Me? Me? Yeah, exactly. Also, it could be decreased uh, short-term, but long-term beneficial. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll say uh, or they're not unacceptable. So I'll say greatly disagree. Oh. All right. All right, let's see what we got. We got the results. The results are in. Let's see what we've got. Revolution. So I'm a revolutionary. I'm scientific. Very decentralist. Look at that. 78% decentralist. Internationalist. 69%. All right. All right. Uh, I haven't got... I don't have any 50-50. 75% unionist. 68% nature. And 82% uh, progressive. Well, well, well. All right. I think that's pretty clear. Am I going to get roasted for any of these? I think this makes sense. I think this is not too bad. Oh, you, th you said everything is worth investing in. I'm an investor. I invest in everything. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a, a, a true anarchist according to this test either. I'm not 100% uh, decentral. I don't, I don't remember which question I, I, I fucked up on. Oh, my closest ideological match. What's my IQ? Hey, where's my closest ideological match? Oh, no, it's right here. Eco-anarchism. Hey. Hey, so I am a, a true anarchist. Under the graphs. There you go. Closest match. Closest match. Eco-anarchism. You know what? I'll take it. I, I accept it. I'll greatly call myself an eco-anarchist because of idrlabs.com. 
we I think we won. I think we we win. You know, as an eco anarchist, I need I need to come uh, come out with a confession. I've never read Murray Bookchin. I've read passages, but I've never read a book by Murray Bookchin. Ecology and revolutionary thought. All right, it's not too long. It's not too long. That's that's definitely doable. It would even be doable to 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 be read on stream. Oh, but it's not Mary Bookchin, it's Lewis Herber. No, oh, so cancelled. We're not we're not reading Lewis Herber. Who the fuck is this Lewis Herber person? Uh, I'm joking. Lewis Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's his pen pen name. Yeah. <laughs> what? You have never read that? Next up you're gonna say that you haven't touched grass either. And still call yourself an eco-anarchist. Listen. I have touched grass. Not only have I touched grass. This might come to a surprise. But I have. I own grass. So in front of my house. And behind my house. I have grass that I own. And because I own it. Not only do I own it. I cut it. I have a lawnmower. And I spend time. I spend several minutes taking care of this lawn, taking care of this grass. So not only am I a grass toucher, I'm a grass carer. 